In today's show, we have a story on the assembly schedule, the stand up with Allie, and White Cane Day. I'm Savannah. And I'm Madison, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens, creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Madison, how do you feel about all the assemblies we've been having? We've had a lot. Well, let's find out what the students think about them. Recently, it seems like there's been a lot of school assemblies. Here are some opinions about them. My opinion on the assembly schedule is that I, I like the, the way that the schedule was edited for, you know, just missing 30 minutes in each of the hours. But um, there's been too many of them in too short of time, and we've lost a lot of class time. I don't really like the assembly schedule because it takes away from early hour class times. I like the assembly schedule because it gets me out of the first classes earlier. When we have an assembly, our classes get shortened, leaving some of our students feeling left behind in classes. I don't think that the assembly times need to be changed. Um, because of the changes that we made to all the classes, it made it a little bit more equitable that way. Um, I like that we have a morning option and an afternoon option that misses a minimum amount of time. I don't think the assemblies really benefit me very much because it's hard to pay attention during them. I don't think they're benefiting me because there's, I just think there's no point. Students feel like all assemblies should be optional in case they need to catch up on homework. That was interesting. Now on with the news. If you are interested in ACT prep classes, visit the office to register by October 18th. You may have seen posters around the school for the Grub Crawl. Allie caught up with Callie Anderson to learn more about it. Hey Bikes, I'm here with Callie to talk about the Grub Crawl. So what is it? Um, on Saturday, October 26th, the Grub Crawl will be happening in downtown Topeka, and it's sponsored by the Topeka Youth Commission, which I am on. And from 1 to 4, you are going to be able to go downtown and visit restaurants such as The Pennant, Iron Rail, Mobert's, Hazel Hill, and Cashmere Popcorn. And you register for $2 for a ticket, and you go down, and someone's going to lead you through those restaurants to just, we want to get more youth to come downtown and show them that there's places to eat and things to do. Okay. Awesome. Make sure and register. Now back to your anchor. Registration is due tomorrow. Make sure and get that done. All Sharp students are invited to attend the improv show this Friday during CLP. You will be dismissed by the intercom. The first 50 students to attend will receive a coupon for free Sonic ice cream. Now let's head on over to sports with Savannah. chest for? This chest is for trick-or-treat so kids can eat. You can donate your food that is non-perishable. The cow with the most donations by the end of the month gets an ice cream party. Sponsored by International Thespian Society. Good evening and thanks for joining us for a new season of Sagas. I'm Sophie Sparks. Sagas is a news magazine that features stories about Seaman High School and the community. Each episode is centered around a theme. The theme for this episode is dark, which can have various meanings. Today, we'll cover a serious injury that is plaguing our athletes, a dark subject that needs to be talked about, equipment that's in its darkest days here at the high school, the tragic story of a prize-winning duck, and a creature that may be lurking the streets of our community. There is a wrestling sign-up meeting for freshmen today during CLP in the West Common area. Pink out is the theme for Friday night's game in Junction City. Now over to Madison with the weather. Today's high is 72. The low is 52. It's going to be sunny and warm this weekend. Now back to your anchors. 
White Cane Day was Tuesday and it was a special day for people with visual impairments. We have some students here at Seaman High School with visual impairments. White Cane Day is a day where we emphasize the safety of canes for blind people. They use canes to safely navigate. We caught up with Holden Miller, who's a junior at Seaman High School who has a visual impairment. I was born with optic nerve hypoplasia, which is a little area in the back of your eyeball. Mine is kind of dried out and that's why I have my vision problem. I'm in public, people will know I am blind. They'll try to stay out of my way as much as possible. And we actually have our own law where cars will actually have to wait for blind people to cross before they go. In a sense, if I was in a parking lot and I'm at the beginning of it, four cars ahead is how much I would be able to see. When you do see my white cane out, don't, don't kick it. That's not cool. People need that to see around. It helps me get around, you know, get used to my surroundings. And once I am completely familiar with that surrounding, as long as it's a little, you know, area, I will not use my cane in that area, like in your home, for example. Holden is just like every other student. He writes books, plays video games, especially Roblox, and has a YouTube channel. Um, sometimes I play Undertale. Mostly I play Roblox. I really enjoy it. It's really fun for me because it's something that normally some blind people can't do. I really love animals. I want to go to Helping Hands and help more animals out because they're looking for some place to stay, some people to love, you know, people to take care of them. While at Seaman, Holden has been bullied by other students. He wants people to know that that's not right. Those jerks out there that always come up to blind people saying, how, how many fingers am I holding up? Just being rude in general. We're blind, man. You don't know what we've been through, what, what we, you know, heard. Just don't, don't do that. That's really not cool. We're, we're blind. We have a visual, visual impairment. Would you like it if some person came up to you and you're blind or just have any disability and make fun of you like that? Holden has a message for all students. Just enjoy life. There's a lot of stuff to explore out there. If you have any questions, make sure to ask Holden. He wants people to know that he's just like everyone else. Thanks for watching. Make sure to catch Sagas tonight on YouTube.